brown rice flour. It came out still a little bit chunky, so let's run it through a sieve and see how it looks. Yeah, yeah that sucked. <laughs> I'm going to spend a goddamn hour. It would literally take me longer to make brown rice flour it would take me to drive to the store to buy some shit for a buck and a half. All right, we'll see what we're going to do with this, but I think we're just going to buy it. Buy it. Orange is making your own BRF sucks. So let's see if we get a, this is like the third batch. Total waste of time. So we're mostly going with the standard BRF cake recipe. Two parts vermiculite, and then one part of water. I'm just using tap water here because that's how I roll. And our tap water actually has a lot of calcium, which mushrooms tend to like, so I like to throw that in there. Mix that up a little bit, so we're going to saturate the vermiculite and then basically coat it with that brown rice flour. I think the best way to mix the vermiculite in the water is just to use your hands because you want to, A, you can actually get a feel for it, no pun intended, and it's also a really good way to thoroughly mix that. So put that there. Here's your field capacity. And then we add one cup of the brown rice flour. Now this, I am actually going to use a fork to mix it in because you're actually coating the outside of the little pieces of the vermiculite there. I don't know what you would call that. They're a little bit bigger than a grain of rice. There you can see a couple there. So you're going to basically make get like flouring a chicken fried steak or a chicken breast schnitzel because you will hit clumps of the brown rice flour and it's easy to just mash that with the tines of the fork and then stir it in. It's hard to do with a spoon in my opinion, that's just how I like to roll. But just mix it in, I'm kind of back spelling that or whatever you want to call it. But just mix that up. And some of them are going to have a special ingredient. I'm actually going to put some of the wooden barbecue skewers in there after I break them up because this variety is a wood-eating fungus. So we got our jars loaded up using our handy-dandy jar loader upper thing. And we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use what I've dubbed the PF jar generation 2 lid. You still got your four injection ports, but we're not fucking around with masking tape, that's silicone on there. And then on this one, it has the micro pour tape over a larger hole. I know, isn't that ugly? But this one works for a living, so. <laughs> there you go. Or you can even use the regular type one with just one injection port, because you just put it in and swirl it around. But just for you plebs, no, I'm kidding. For you noobs who are worried about having your multiple injection ports, we can run that route too just to show you that'll work. So, we're going to do a couple of experiments here. Uh, the hypothesis is that that big white polypore mushroom that I found will grow on brown rice flour cake. That's our hypothesis. And, as a second experiment, I'm going to include pieces of wooden barbecue skewer in the cake to see if that gives a better growth rate than just a straight BRF cake since it is a wood-eating mushroom. Third bonus feature for the viewers, I'm sorry about that crackhead cam. Okay, and for the third experiment, I'm going to put two of these into the Instapot. And I'm going to do the rest of them in the pressure cooker, and then we'll compare to see if you can do BRF cakes in the Instapot. I don't think anybody's shown that yet. There's a surprising lack of mycology with Instapot. Success or failure. So I'll show you those either way. So we got three things. We're doing BRF cakes on a polypore, which was a wood eater. We're also going to include skewers in some of them. And two of them will be done in the Instapot, Instant Pot and the rest of them done in the pressure cooker. We'll compare them and see what happens at the end.
And what I want to do is I want to mix that in to my substrate. So I want the content, I want the wood content down in the mix. Be a pain in the pain in the behind. So I might throw some more in there. Like I said, and we're just experimenting, so it's okay. You could try this with wood chips, like the kind for the barbecue smokers. I think maybe some of the pet bedding, if you can get aspen wood, might work. Tractor Supply has a surprising amount of stuff that's handy. So that's kind of the idea. All right, all right, all right. We've got two of them marked here for the Instapot. And then the rest of them we're going to put in the PC. Standard BRF jar set up for the most part. Foil on the lid, yada, yada, yada. So here we go. Pot. I'm a simple kind of guy, so where the hell is it? There we go. Pressure cook. Let me get the lid. Oh, shut the lid. So it's sealed 45. Pussies. I'm not like gonna turbo that bad boy. Now this is also sealed, so it won't lose nearly as much water as the Presto style will. It does run at a lower temperature, so I might throw a couple more minutes on there. So, we'll do it at 140. Warm pressure cook. Oh my God. Here we go. On. Take off. <laughs> 